What's going on guys? We're gonna make this game kinda quick here. Um let's get right into it. I tried to do ultimate team. Um I'll tell you what. Uh just not possible. <clears throat> it's Madden NFL 24. First game playing it. Literally 15 minutes ago, first time playing it. The opposing team had 13 superstars. Two weeks of coming 13. To week three and we're underway I'm good. And they'll start this drive just so we'll, we'll try again maybe maybe next year when the new when the, or this this next August when the new Madden comes out I might try it early just to just to start something new right we'll see All right, here we go. And surprisingly enough, it, it was against the Falcons. <laughs> they had Egg Reed, the ultimate. I don't know what the guy's name is. He's number 12, quarterback for the Falcons. I guess 20 years ago, 30 years ago, somewhere around there. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, um, I don't know how much I can commentate on this. Uh, I'm on bad duty. Um, sent my wife off to go get her nails done. She has two, two um, things to get done today. Go to the bank, and then uh, I got her a uh, get certificate to go get her nails and stuff done at her favorite nail salon. So. Got the baby monitor in front of me. He's taking a nap right now. But yeah, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep the commentary going until uh, until you hear me click it off, and then you'll know. Uh, who we got? Montgomery Laporta. We haven't used him much. Three for three, 39 yards. Let's go. You hear that whirling noise in the back? That's uh, that's my laundry. Ooh! Damn! I thought I had that. Oh, come on, Laporta. <laughs> Could have had it. I'm gonna try Laporta one more time. Don't fail me, dog. Fine. Oh. There we go. Damn it. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Back at the two now. Here's this second and goal. Gibbs. Gibbs is not Gibbs. Why did I stutter? I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Hooker. That's a touchdown, baby. Toe tapping into the end zone, baby. Are they gonna? Oh, okay. Are they gonna challenge it? Continue that in future drives. 
All right, here we go. Baltimore 14, Colts 0. Where are they at? What quarter? Just just about finishing up the first quarter. Also, I got some good news. Um, I was blessed to win some tickets to the Seahawks versus Dolphins game week two, I want to say. That's going to be September 22nd. I think it's week two. Maybe it's three. I don't know. Either way, my wife's dad is a huge Dolphins fan. And we've been going over to Miami many times to play them, right? Finally, they're coming over here. They've been playing in Seattle on the 22nd of September. I can't wait. Um, I'm excited. I think, I think it is week three, maybe. Um... <clears throat> And we got some good seats. I've been to, in my life, since I've moved back to Washington State in 2014, <clears throat> I've gone, this would be my seventh or eighth game. NFL game, I should say. Um, but out of all those seats, I've always been in the 300 level, which is way up high, right? These seats are in the 100 level. Now, we're kind of closer to one end zone than the other. <clears throat> But we're only like nine rows up from the field. So we're section one, one oh eight. One, one, one. I have to look it up. I don't have it. My my wife has the ticket information. But we were blessed to win. And she's like, you know what? She took my dad for Father's Day. So on Father's Day, they're all going to come over to our house. And I'm going to let them know, hey, we're going to a Seahawks game in September. So that'll be fun. It's like I said, first time being in the 100 level. I've never been there. It's going to be great. Oh, that should have been a sat, man. That should have been a sat. I'm really hoping the Lions stay consistent and they're not like, uh, you know, they don't they don't backtrack. They built all the way up to win 12 and five last season, which is insane, right? I really hope they get another like. 12 wins. Maybe a 13 and 5. I don't know. Damn it. I, I don't know why I threw that. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to see where they're going. Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want to repeat of their first drive. That first? Yeah, it is. Nice. nice. We did it, mate. Let this guy run. Only 26 rushing yards. That doesn't make any sense. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And brought down, but now he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7. 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. But they are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, Red the meter. Let's go, baby. Have taken a two touchdown lead now. 
that would have been probably this has been a flawless start for them they score they get the stop and they score just again so. charles complimentary football at its finest you just mentioned how they got it done they scored the defense got the ball back for them they score again that's the way you win ball games and patterson back out there to send this one away and he won't return this one he'll go down to a knee and they'll start oh, there you go the so for the second time how crazy is that they have ritter the right offense. for what two yeah, two seasons early here, down maybe, maybe three nothing. i don't know the point is, now there's two new quarterbacks in this league. <clears throat> or in the, on this team. Kirk Cousins and Michael Penix. So you went from Desmond Ritter all the way down from being first place QB all the way down to third. If he's still there. I can't remember if he's still there or if they traded him away. Well, that's, that's insane. Who's this guy? Mosley. All right, man. Let's go. Second year. There's our answer. It's only been in the league twice. So technically, this next year will be his third. Damn. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And running room scares right. here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. I really hope they make the graphics so much better, man. Good field I don't understand why they can't make a realistic Madden, you know? Throwing. Hooker. Oh, that's going to be a sack. It's going to be taken down here. A sack <laughs> back at the 30. Two. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their <clears> first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. It's just, it's, it, it truly is, and I, I always buy it just because of the new players and the new, maybe a slightly different version of the story mode, or there's a new game mode besides Mutt, or you know what I mean? But it seems like every year it is legitimately a copy paste repeat copy paste repeat like the only thing i'm excited for is a new madden right madden 25 or whatever it's going to be called because they already have a madden 25 um <clears throat> is the uniforms the multiple uniforms the new uniforms coming out this year the lions um the Giants have a new, like, throwback, like, uh, year 100 jersey or something like that. And then um, you have the Broncos. Um, somebody else. Oh my god. The scoop and, <laughs> the scoop and drop. Damn. The Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. Hooker on first down. He's airing it out for Williams. Get it, baby. Let's go. Oh, he's still going. Okay. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead That's the a laser, dude. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly <clears> a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any it. series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's There we go. Extra point by 18 Patterson seconds left in the good. first half. Is on here in this first half. Bada bing, bada boom. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys. It's like they were hugging for a second. <laughs> to take a shot. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. The Ritter's throw could be Ooh, Now a timeout signal for him. They'll get it with 10 seconds to go in before halftime. Here's Ritter. What the fuck, Ritter? Wide is incomplete. <clears throat> Wait, Ritter was number nine, right? Yeah, he was. I just realized that. So I think they traded Ritter away. Yeah, I think they traded him away. Hold on. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to I don't know. We'll Siri's telling me he's still with the Falcons, but Week three, how? Because Michael Penix is number nine. And we welcome you so back let me let me figure now something out here. <clears> Charles Davis operating gun set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be oh, Cardinals. <clears throat> he was traded to the Arizona Cardinals on March 14, 2024 in exchange for wide receiver Rondell Moore. Interesting. Yeah, so he's, he's with the Cardinals. Which means he's not going anywhere. It's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, yeah, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games yeah, he could not do anything. <clears throat> Speaking of Cordell Patterson, how crazy is it that he is still playing? Hasn't he been in the league for like 10 years now? I'm pretty sure he's been in the league for at least 10 years. And I remember when he was a stud. Like he was a wide receiver slash running back. And now he's like a 6 foot 4, I think, or 6 foot 3. Um, running back, which is hard for anyone to really stop. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. <clears throat> Still off target throws, no rhythm. Oh, no Desmond. Ball, obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. Taken from just outside the 30. Nice All right. On the return there, 16 yards. And it will be first and 10. Two targets, two receptions, 69 yards, two titties. I mean, TDs. Not a bad day at the office there. Maybe he would like the catch number to go up a little bit, but I think most guys would say... God, I got to write this stuff down. That's okay. We'll go here. So... Because at that pace, this type of efficiency... Oh, yeah, I think I... Oh, where are we? I'll write that down in a second. now on first down there it is oh keep it and he's injured of course he is why would he not be all right so it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look and we will take a his two touchdowns right now So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start not good. in our second half blowout material. No fucking way to make it another one. Three touchdowns. Hoping that uh, Amon Ross St. Brown is not out for the season or out for multiple weeks we're gonna find out here acl oh fuck 
Well, folks, he's probably out for the remainder of the year. If not, you're looking about eight to nine weeks Madden time frame. That's shitty because we're only in game three of the season. So if anything, we might see him playoffs. We haven't exactly played you a nail in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying do you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better oh. team has been in this one. And in oh, you almost had it. Every game being a one score game as we go into it. Watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. On play action, here's Ritter. Yes! Aiden Hutchinson, three sets. Let's go. Rack up those sacks. <clears throat> Mind you, we still have, we're like halfway through quarter three. So let's see if I can get maybe five sacks. Try five sacks for um, Aiden Hutchinson. <clears throat> So three targets, three receptions, 104 yards already. Can we make it four? Four touchdowns? Let's see. Uh. Damn it. That was good accuracy, too. There it is. Come on, baby. Get in there. Four touchdowns, baby. Let's just add one more to that. So he's got four total. We gotta, we gotta get Sam Laporta in here too. Amara St. Brown is out. That really sucks. I'm looking over our notes because, like I said, I'm gonna be doing that throughout this season. First game, we balled out. Okay, we had Cameron Cheeseman, Jet Campbell, David Montgomery, Amara, Hendon Hooker was balled out. E Mosley, uh, Jameer Gibbs, Jamison, Jake Bobo, Laporta, all these players impacted. Game one, right? Game two, we only had five, four, excuse me. Man, excuse me. Sam Laporta, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, and your quarterback. This one so far, we have like three. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto. That's okay. We have a long season ahead of us. Long season. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare real <laughs> Woo! Oh, Kirby Joseph, interception, E. Mosley also. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Jamison Williams in the Lions get set for this next possession. <clears throat> what a game for him, Charles. Four touchdowns. Heck, for a lot of guys, that's a good season number. <laughs> You're exactly right. And let's face it, we have to stand up and applaud this one. Even though Ooh, 49 yards for the four. This doesn't just happen by accident. This isn't four times mm. where the defense just falls down or breaks coverage. He's worked awfully hard changing routes, changing areas, changing angles, and getting open for touchdown. We knew he'd be part of the game plan in a big... I'll just make it another one. Why not? Five touchdowns. Why not? 
just like we do in every series, we're going to try to make these people, these people on the team, the best ever, right? So like in our Seahawks series, we're going to try to make our wide receivers, quarterback, you name it, every, oh, I fucked that one up, every player on it, number one and everything, right? So we're going to do it with this one. We're going to make Hendon Hooker the best quarterback ever, better than Tom Brady, I'll tell you that. Well, you don't see that often. He just <clears throat> miss hit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Is it oh, shit. To keep it between the side? Well, he's free going down no the fucking side. way. We got to stop him. Holy shit. Yards line. 78 oh, my God. Ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Bootlegging out here, Ritter. Fuck. I knew it. I knew it. If I hadn't gotten to the quarterback just to split butt hairs more than. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. We're good. It's all good. I don't care. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. To return, it's Cam Sutton. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. All right, so five receptions, 189 yards, five touchdowns, dude. Damn. he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. I think we need two more touchdowns really for Henning Hooker to, to take that lead. Have the most thrown uh, touchdowns by a quarterback. No! Oh, that would have been great. I just I should have waited at just a, a split set. Oh! You want to talk shit, dog? You're you're losing. Hella. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. We're gonna go for it. We're going for it. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. We're gonna let Jameer Gibbs give a little action here. I mean, he is contributing, so. They'll try and run for it. And he's able to get to the down. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert the fourth oh, down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Oh, come on. Really? Twice? Back to back? So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. There we go. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. First down throw here. It's Hooker. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Okay. We're all right. Back now at Ford Field. Should be able to do this. This is a blowout so far as we get set. For the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Throwing on second and long. Hooker, he's airing it out Come on. for Williams. No! No fucking way. That could have been totally avoided. Oh my god. I could have totally been avoided. Safety, baby. What? Oh, alright. Cameron Sutton. Or Cam. Two sacks. Aiden has three. I guess he didn't hold on to the ball, so. <clears throat> 
One of only two rookies to top a thousand yards on the ground last year. Here's Tyler Algier, and he's able to get this one out to the <sighs> fourth and eleven. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth. I'm actually today. upset with myself. I just kept, I kept trying to lob it to uh, and no return on this for our boy Jameson Williams. So instead of just playing it smart. Let's really, let's really think about this one right now. There he is. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is... See, now they're double coveraging him. It's not just getting locked in and in the zone and not a roll. It's continuing to adjust throughout the game because you know the defense is kicking coverages towards okay, him. Here we go. Trying their best to slow him down and he keeps getting the better of them. Yeah, whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. Bite me in the butt. Yeah. The end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this first? one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. I and it looks like they're not gonna stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense oh. happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as I'm playing stupid being, football right now, folks. You and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one. It was over a long time ago. Third and goal. Here's Hooker. There you go. Six touchdowns. Okay. A seven yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are closing in on a third straight victory to start the game. Six touchdowns. <clears throat> come into a game preaching total team efforts and now of course all scoring plays are reviewed and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one let's see it they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet uh, are in bounds and obviously a big call here in the end zone and not just the feet oh, okay you're not going to show us how's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully yep we got it getting down in bounds that's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. An injury already? Extra point by Patterson up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. All right. Patterson Look at the Seattle 0 and 2 going against Carolina 1 and 1. I hope Seattle beats Carolina. They should. With the players they actually have right now, they should be beating them. Two game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Cam Sutton, Sutton. Cam Sutton, make that. So we have six stacks total. Talk about two sides of the ball across purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still about to get a few shots in. Up front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. Damn, make that back-to-back -back again for Sutton. Four sacks. And that's a safety, dude. By Campbell. Let's go, baby. Oh. Okay. 226. I think if anything, we'll, we'll tie the record again. 10 receptions, 287 yards, six touchdowns, man. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches? Oh, fuck, dude. I'm just being really fucking dumb right now. 
God damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to make it like no interceptions, and here we are. We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. <clears throat> but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands. Third and three. Fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Working from the gun, Ritter. Now throw here right sideline for us. All right, going to go for it. And that's another play that's been the not. of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by Victor. That's okay, we're going to go for it. Stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. This is taken at the 15. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. Jameson Williams and the Lions get set for this next possession. They need to flash on the next one too. And they used to do it. But they need to flash like, hey, broken record. This person has scored more touchdowns in a game. Broken record. Broken record. Broken, 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 broken record. You know what I mean? Fucking throw it up. And then as you progress your seasons. Don't let it be the same copy, paste, and repeat for um, milestones and goals and records and shit, dude. What the fuck, Jameson Williams? Like, every new season you play, whether you're continuing on a franchise or you're making a new one, right? It's the same thing. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame his nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. Come on, dude. I think you did something. I think you He's fucked with my guy there. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there. We're going to try. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? That was a misread by my dude. What the fuck was that? What the fuck, man? Did you see that? A little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. God, bro. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Great. So we have three INTs. <clears throat> three that we could have easily avoided. A yard or two deep. Here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard that we could line easily have, <laughs> have avoided if I wasn't being so selfish. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Bro, 17 for 35 right now. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running oh the receiver, God. but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first and ten, Hooker. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We're just making this defense look amazing right now. His ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Christ. Hughes, you not that good, dog. That lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that was certainly led to Oh my god. Fucking whack right now, man. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. That's intercepted. Or, yeah, whatever. Intercepted or flacked away, whatever. We're gonna rip your fucking hands. 
all set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing. CD, but <clears> they're not going to have a perfect the second half. Second half, my guy. Copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news though. This one is there we go. Oh, Brian Branch has 2.5 sacks. So four, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half sacks on our defense right now. These interceptions could have been avoided. I, I take full responsibility for that. I really do. Uh, Jameer Gibbs. Nothing really going with him, man. Just 10, 10 carries, 3 yards. Uh, Jameson Williams, where is he? So he's had 11 receptions for 316 yards. And then Josh Reynolds, uh, nothing really noteworthy. But Hending Hooker. He was 45% completion. 414 yards. Seven TDs, and what was it? Three INTs. Heesh. Interesting. <clears throat> All right, let's wrap this video up. Go finish the game here. Come on, come on. Skip to the end. Oh shit! Did I? Was I supposed to help somebody? Was I? No, I don't think so. Maybe I was. I don't know. Now that I'm looking back, was I supposed to help somebody get, like, <laughs> a trait? A dev trait? No? Okay. <clears throat> Who is it? Jameson Williams, obviously 11 receptions, 316 yards, 28.7 reception uh, average with six touchdowns. Also... Cameron Sutton, <clears throat> four sacks. Great game on our defensive side. Offense was a little shaky, you know, because of me. Again, I take full responsibility. We have five players to negotiate right now. Who are they? Uh, we'll negotiate with you. We'll just say yes. He likes the offer, but he wants more help. Uh, who else? Uh, how old are you? 25. I guess, I guess we'll go have you right let's go here cool <clears throat> for 24 we'll keep you three years <clears throat> i think there's one more maybe two more so he's on our defensive line so let's go let's go to right you will retire at 31 if he took it. Oh, no, he's waiting on it. <clears throat> and then you, you don't want to sign. Let's give you, see if you'll take that. Okay. He didn't want to play, now he does. All right. <clears throat> play the Packers at their stadium. Wait, what does it say? Discuss how to prepare for playing on Thursday night. What is this? Get a cutscene. Oh, as you know, short week this week. These quick turnarounds. There's a dog in our yard. Or... Hold on, sorry. You guys can probably read it. Um, score gas board. Beat the Packers and score four offensive touchdowns. We can do that. That is no problem. <clears throat> QB1 checking. Evaluate the start to your quarterback's season. Okay. Let's check this out. Coach, your team has played really well in the early part of the season and is off to a hot start. How much of that is because of Hendon Hooker? Um, <clears throat> let's preach team mentality. His contribution can't be under, uh, understated. 
but he also doesn't play defense or special teams. We're playing fantastic as his team right now, and I think everybody from top to bottom deserves credit. Okay, so cool. Beat the Packers. We can do that, right? <clears throat> it is a team sport. Yes, the quarterback gets all the praise, but who in reality helps win? It's the whole team, right? <clears throat> as we're looking on the board right now, we are obviously 3-0. and Who else is 3-0? and Vikings, Browns, uh, the Bills, Sam Fran. Interesting teams, right? Interesting teams. Chiefs are 2-1. and one. I don't know. Who, oh, and the Cowboys, but no one gives a fuck about the Cowboys. <clears throat> um, Hendon Hooker is actually on the board. In week three, he finally made it. 58% completion, which is not great at all, right? Jacoby Brissett is a lot older. He's a more experienced vet. Same with Aaron Rodgers. They both have 74% completion. But we're, we're catching up. We are catching up. Christian McCaffrey, Damian Pierce, and Jameer Gibbs is on the board with 308 yards. That means he's only 70 yards short of catching up to Christian McCaffrey. Also, receiving leaders, we are number one right now, beating out Terry McLaurin and Cooper Cup. We have 13 receptions. We have the least amount with the most amount of yards and the most amount of touchdowns with seven. Anybody else? Sack leaders. Our boy is not even on there yet, but I'll tell you what. Aiden Hutchinson, right? And Sutton are right there. They're just below Marcus, uh, DeMarcus Lawrence and Michael Parsons and Aaron Donald. They're all tied for first, so technically we're in second. And then, look at this. Interception leaders, we're on there, right? Emmanuel Mosley has two. Kirby Joseph has two. And Jesse Bates the third has two. Uh, so we're all tied for first. So... <clears throat> going good going strong i do apologize for the interceptions um that is again solely on me i take full responsibility for that that is my bad uh, but we'll do better hopefully those are the only interceptions we throw this year right <clears throat> then if we decide to do another a season two <clears throat> your boy is really going to try to take no sacks and no interceptions on him so, Green Bay is up next. <clears throat> then we got Panthers and then the Bucks. So, we'll see how it plays out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.